Hi, Larry K, ShadowAnyone.com. In this Tuesday's tip video, I'm going to teach you two different tricks for when you're working with a subject who speaks a foreign language that you don't know and uh, how you can get information or at least learn a little bit more. There's two specific circumstances. One is if the person genuinely wants to cooperate, but there's just this uh, language barrier. And number two, if the person's not cooperating or pretending like they don't speak uh, the language that, that you're speaking in. So number one, if they're cooperating, they genuinely want to help you, but they just, they're, they're, they're not, not being helpful. They don't want to speak what it is a lot of times. Uh, well, let me just give you the tip. Have them write it down. Have them write it down. A lot of people uh, study, practice, and, and even speak English, for example, uh, for years. Uh, in school, but they're very when they when they're speaking with a native speaker, they're very uh, nervous or shy about it. And if you studied a foreign language, you might feel the same way. You might have two, three years of classroom, but when you get out into the real world, into another country, you may be very self-conscious about the way you speak that language. So if you have a cooperating uh, person, a witness, someone you're interviewing, whatever it might be, and uh, they're reluctant have them write down their answer there a lot of times people are much more comfortable writing in a foreign language than they are speaking it from an embarrassment point of view uh, which is by the way silly if you're studying a foreign language you're trying to learn a foreign language speak it as often as you can to any native speaker you can you know you use your skills that you have there now number two and this is much more sneaky what if you have somebody who's specifically not cooperating with you now this can be a variety of things, maybe somebody you're trying to interview, a witness. Uh, for the loss prevention people out there, you've, you've caught somebody who pretends that they don't speak English. Here's an interesting little trick. Uh, you basically, you just say out loud, you ask, what time is it? Now, when you're working with someone else, another, say another person in the room with you, another investigator, uh, you have to coordinate ahead of time that neither one of you look at the clock, that neither one of you check your watch. The other investigator has to know what you're doing in this circumstance because you don't want to give away any physical clue or visual clue as to what you just said in English. But what you're going to find is human beings, if they hear what time it is, they just have to look at the clock. They just have to check their watch. So if the person genuine, if the person does understand English, and you've asked this question and given no other indication, and then you, you see the person checking the time or looking at their watch or whatever it might be, don't, if you've made an apprehension and they still have their cell phone, in my view, that's a problem, don't. <laughs> but at any rate, um, look for that clue that they understood what you said. Now, if you're working alone, you can do it on the phone. You know, you make a phone call or you pretend to make a phone call where you're, in the course of the conversation, you ask them, what time is it now? And Watch your subject uh, discreetly and see if they key in on the fact that they know what you said. And that will give you a clue as to whether or not they actually speak uh, English in this case for this example. This is Larry K. ShadowAnyone.com. Remember, do the right thing, even if it's the hard thing.